Hello, my name is Roshi Ando. I'm a PhD student at the Hybrid Atelier at the Department of Computer Science and Engineering at the University of Texas at Arlington. I'm presenting on behalf of my co-authors, Nasir Rakib, Anvay Srivastava, Sara Rastegarpuani, and Cesar Torres. My paper is called Ember, a creative framework for hand embroidered liquid crystal textile displays. To give a little background, in 2006, Wakita and colleagues introduced the idea of creating thermochromic textile displays using liquid crystal ink and conductive thread in a resistive heater circuit. The conductive thread is used to activate the thermochromic ink. Since then, there have been many applications of these kinds of displays, especially in creating animations and fabric and also wearable artifacts. The conductive thread, which is used in these kinds of displays, is also used in machine embroidery applications, which has been used to create sensors, spine fabric with mechanical components, and also to create on-skin interfaces. There remains an opportunity to extend these techniques used in thermochromic displays and embroidery to hand embroidery applications, which will give access to a wider range of cultural traditions, provide more fine-grained control of these resistive heater designs, and afford hand construction and experiential knowledge creation. In this work, we present Ember, which is a creative framework for designing hand embroidered liquid crystal textile displays, or LCTDs. An LCTD uses conductive thread as a resistive heater to activate thermochromic liquid crystal ink in order to create dynamic color changes in hand embroidered textile displays. We introduce a lumped element model that simulates the mechanical, thermal, and electrical properties of an LCTD. Using this model, we developed a CAD tool. I will now go through some of the features of this tool. The thread model is used to simulate the conductive thread as a user executes a stitch, such as showing what the final stitch looks like when the user pulls the thread taut. The user can also enter a stitch assembly view, which provides stitching instructions and keeps an update of the user's progress. The heat simulation model is used to simulate the thermal behavior of the thermochromic ink to allow the user to alter parameters to achieve their desired effect. The electrical model is used to query the electrical properties such as resistance and power of the embroidered stitches so that the user can make any changes necessary. So in hand embroidery, there are hundreds of stitches to choose from, but there is no formal way to model them, especially in the context of liquid crystal textile displays. So to address this, we conducted a set of morphological experiments to formally characterize 12 of the most popular embroidery stitches. We present these results in an e-stitch book. This is important because the amount of conductive thread needed is different for different kinds of stitches and it affects the thermochromic behavior of the liquid crystal ink. For example, if someone wants to achieve color changes over a large area, a serpentine stitch will be useful. We provide more examples of how to use these stitches um, in the stitch book through exemplar artifacts, and I will now go through one of these exemplar artifacts. So in our experiments, we realized that the thermal conductivity or thickness of the fabric has the ability to limit heat transfer from embroidery stitches on the underside of the fabric. So if we choose a stitch where there are more stitches on the underside compared to the top side, we can have more control over the color changes on the top. One example of such a stitch is the seat stitch. And even though the front to back ratio is not really high, it shows enough contrast in behavior to showcase the thermal conductivity. We used it to create an Orion constellation where the thread lines on the back showcase the lines of the constellation on the top side. For the big stars, we used a modified star stitch. Traditionally, it's not possible to execute this without shorting the stitch. However, with our modification, we were able to create a large resistive heater that appropriately shows the stars and is also safe from shorts. In our paper and video figure, we show five more exemplars and how we use the stitch book 
and tool to come up with them. Although we were able to make significant progress in the field of hand embroidered LCTDs, one limitation that remains in wearable applications of these displays is that they activate with body heat. In this exemplar, we were able to mitigate this by putting a water-filled silicone bladder between the glove and the skin, and therefore insulating the heat from the hand. Additionally, the liquid crystal also wears off with time, so these artifacts would not last for very long. However, we do see great potential in using these LCTDs as a hello world to e-textiles, especially as a means to aid in foundational development of material literacy and defamiliarizing electronics. To conclude, this work presents a low cost and highly accessible framework for integrating hand embroidery to thermochromic textile displays using elementary materials such as conductive thread. Our tool is also available online through GitHub. Thank you.